I'm Lee Carlson, graduated from NGIT in 2004 in mechanical engineering. I started working for Honeybee that same summer and I've been here ever since. This is my SMS teammate, Mike. Mike Passaretti, uh, NGIT class of 2005. Started working for Honeybee Robotics uh, in January of the same year. Uh, majors computer engineering, uh, currently pursuing uh, masters in engineering management. Honeybee Robotics is one of the world's top developers of advanced robotic systems. We are an R&D engineering service company that creates solutions for our customers' unique and challenging problems. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about SMS, which was uh, one of Honeybee's contributions to the Mars Curiosity rover. SMS sits at the heart of NMSL's key science payload, which is SAM. Uh, it's designed to look for the habitability of Mars or the Martian environment on or below the surface of Mars. Curiosity rolls across the surface of Mars collecting samples. Those samples are handed to SMS, which is where we take over. We, we move these samples from a collection point to one of three different science stations. Sample handling on Earth is pretty easy. You hand it to your lab tech, he runs it over to, to your science suite, uh, takes the measurements you need. Uh, on Mars, you need a robot to do it. It would be hard enough to get a robot to do that here on Earth, let alone 350 million miles away. So there were many challenges involved with creating a mechanism to replace a human for this task. And somewhere along the way, we had to get some electrical engineers involved. And that's where Mike participated. So my involvement on SMS uh, was mainly acting as an electrical engineer. A big part of my job was designing the electrical harness um, that's used to power all of the motors and the various sensors that allow SMS to function, determine where its samples are and where they, where they need to go, but also to tell the rover um, when the uh, SMS is doing its job. The SMS electrical subsystem was designed mainly in a product uh, now called Altium Designer. It's a suite of software tools available to electrical engineers. Uh, however, we mainly just use the board layout and schematic capture parts of the program to design the SMS electrical flex tape, um, but also the uh, optical switches which were responsible for telling the rover where the SMS carousel is positioned. One of the parts of SMS was uh, just the rotating carousel assembly. You take and you create a breadboard first of just the rotating mechanism and another breadboard of the elevator mechanism and another breadboard of the harness. You test them all separately so that you can prove their worth before making a more complex system out of them. Right, so breadboard, breadboards are very useful in uh, mitigating risk in, in a design. So as Lee just mentioned, there was several complicated different things um, that we had to figure out uh, to make SMS function as a whole and meet all its requirements. Uh, each one of those problems combined together is really hard to figure out, but if you break it down into smaller chunks and breadboard each one of those, um, you, can, you can solve those problems more efficiently and be less worried with the, the, the clouded, uh, more complex problem that is the whole system. Working on projects like SMS or any complex aerospace project really points out how important it is to have people with a variety of technical expertise in areas like science, technology, engineering, and math. These are the careers that will build the future.